Hi, this is Rick Springfield, author and narrator of the audiobook Magnificent Vibration. I'd always loved writing. It was the only things I ever got any attention for at school was my essays. I translated that into music, writing songs, uh, once I started to play the guitar. But I have always been a voracious reader and always wanted to write prose. And so after writing my autobiography that I wrote, it was advised that I try writing a novel because the odd and peculiar voice I have... (laughs) So I did, and uh, that was really the focus and the drive for me to write it, and I had some downtime over Christmas, so I whipped this puppy out. And the inspiration for the story is basically just things I think about all the time. The best advice I ever had from a writer, I didn't know him personally, but Oscar Hammerstein, one of my favorites, was write what you know. So it's what I imagine when I fantasize. And the great thing about writing fiction as opposed to writing an autobiography is uh, you don't have to apologize for it afterwards for all the crap you did because you make it all up. It's great. I did the audio book for my autobiography, and it seemed like the natural thing to do then because it was a story about me, and I enjoyed doing that. So when it was suggested to do the audio book for Magnificent Vibration, I put my hand up and said, Sir! Sir! Oh, sir! So I just hit the light. And uh, I got the gig, you know? I knew the writer, so it was kind of, you know, didn't really have to do much to land the gig and really enjoyed it. The process was interesting. I thought, well, I've written this, you know, I'll just read it. But I got involved in the story reading it. And as an actor, too, it helped to get involved in the story because then you're doing more than just reading words. Hopefully you're emoting to a degree. The process was great. I'm looking forward to hearing it. Music fans will probably be a little shocked. It's a little rude. It's a little out there. They'll be surprised. There's a lot of things in there that they'll probably wonder, did he really go through this incident? (laughs) So that's kind of fun. There is one incident in there, but it's not the one you think. No, that's a minor incident. The rest of it is fiction. But fantasizing, I love fantasizing, and that's why it's a blast to write. I hope the fans will like it. We already have some really great reviews, so I'm very excited about that. And I hope the fans like it. Thank you.